Hey everyone, this is Ross, and I want to talk a little bit about uh, grow bags with you guys today. I mean, these are uh, bags as an alternative to plastic. So as you can see, I have plastic, plenty of plastic pots of various different sizes. I've also tried the uh, grow bags in various different sizes, different brands. You can see there's some black ones there. You have some blue ones, which are a different brand. We have the larger size here of grow bag, which is of a different brand. Um, I've even had the smaller size of the five gallon size, which you can see here. These are all my five gallon trees, but uh, I don't have any of the five gallon size trees in grow bags anymore. And we're going to get into that. Um, I've also seen grow bags in the smaller size. So in something that's a like a one gallon size, you know, I have some smaller trees over here that I've grafted and done various things with. These are smaller size pots and I've seen the grow bags of this size. I mean, they have them in many different sizes and um, I think they're overall a really good thing. So you can see there's a lot of them here I have against the house. And I really, I really do th am a big proponent of them. Um, I've gotten a lot of experience now with them too. I've had uh, my earliest grow bags I've had now for four years. Since I've really since I started gardening, I um, started growing in grow bags because I couldn't afford uh, the larger size plastic uh, pots. So I unknowingly decided to just take a chance on the the grow bags, the um, the fabric, and just see what would happen. And so far, none of them have broken on me. Um, I did rip one by accident, but that was my own fault. Uh, but none of them have degraded to the point where the bag has been um, torn or has broken. So, uh, so far in four years, I haven't broken a single bag. That's, that was like the biggest complaint I think most people have about these things or the biggest concern people have about these things. Um, I like them because one, they're cheaper. Um, they seem somewhat durable, like I said. They also have handles. Some of these have handles, you can see, which makes moving these pots around a lot easier. Um, that's a huge plus in my mind, especially for like a really big size, like that big guy in the back there, that's a, a 30 gallon size pot, maybe even 35. That thing weighs a lot. It, it takes two strong people to lift that. Um, and if there were handles on the side, it would make it a lot, a lot easier. Um, you know, maybe though the handles would break if it's if it's that heavy. But uh, so far, like I said, they're durable. They're cheaper. Um, I wouldn't recommend getting them in the the blue color here. I would recommend getting them in in black if you live near me. If you live somewhere really warm, always recommend uh, for containers. You probably don't want to do black. You want to go with something that's a lighter color that isn't going to absorb as much heat. I need to, uh, as much heat as I can get here. So black is the way for me. Um, but you know, you know, and the other big thing I should say before I go into the, the negatives here is that they really do, um, if you were to take this off here, I, I've up potted these things, you know, taken them out of the grow bags. Uh, I killed a couple plants in the grow bags, you know, I've messed around with them and definitely have seen what the roots look like in these bags and they're nothing like, uh, displayed on websites or various uh <laughs> just various like you know points of sale um they just don't look that good but the roots are being pruned on the outside of the pot and it is forming a decent root system that way um so for someone like me who's got a lot of containers you know uh you don't want them really to last as long you don't need them to last as long because at some point you're going to put most of the stuff in the ground. Um, this is a really cheap alternative that will degrade. You know, it's not plastic that's going to be on earth for, you know, hundreds or even a thousand years or something, whatever it is. Um, these guys will degrade very quickly. Um, but here's the, here's the thing, right guys? So even though this is root pruning, um, all the roots on the outside here are being pruned out. I would say about an inch. So about an inch away from the, the outside of the pot, there is very little root activity there. 
and that's constantly being dried out because not only does the top get dried out, but all of the sides of the pot get dried out. And as a result, these trees really do get dried out quicker than something like plastic. So not um, great, I guess, in that sense. So if you have like a really mature tree, right? Let's just say these aren't fig trees. You know, maybe these are blueberries as an example. And fig trees are very drought tolerant. Whereas blueberries on the other side of the spectrum, in my mind, the second they dry out, they're dead. So you wouldn't want to grow certain things, I think, in these bags, guys. Um, you wouldn't want to grow something that uh, can't handle drying out every once in a while. You wouldn't want to grow something, in my mind, that's very mature. So here's the, my biggest beef is what I just said right, you know, just there, but also that in the smaller size here, the five gallon size, these guys need lots of um, water. They need lots of energy. You know, these are pretty mature trees for the size of the pot, right? This is like a gigantic tree that needs lots of energy, lots of water, and having them in a small size pot, I need to really give them a lot of attention. I need to give them a lot of water. I have to give them a lot of fertilizer. To get a, to get a decent amount of fruit on these guys, that's like a necessity. And in a grow bag of this size, it's just gonna dry out too quickly, guys. It really is. And um, I mean, you can increase the frequency that you're watering, don't get me wrong, but uh, I had these guys in the greenhouse. You know, that's where I store a lot of them in the winter time, because I can't keep these guys outside uh, all winter. It's just too cold here. So I have to put them somewhere. And I like to give them an early start in the greenhouse. For those of you who've seen my other videos, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And I have a little heater in there, a little space heater that kicks on. And the majority of the pots that were in the greenhouse, that were in the grow bags of this size, this smaller size here, guys, this five gallon size, they dried out very quickly because the dry heat that that heater was producing, it was hitting the outside of the pots. You know, it wasn't.